Hi there, Henry. How are you today, Compass? I feel ship shape, Henry, me lad. There's nothing better than living here by the sea. Every day something weird and wonderful washes up on the beach and I put it on display here in me little seaside shack. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. Mm, Compass, what do you do exactly? Well, you see this needle here? It always points north, Henry. No matter where you are, you can always work out where you're going. So if you ever want to go on an adventure to discover a new and exciting land, I'm the one to help you find your way. That's so interesting, Compass. Have you ever discovered a new and exciting land before? I'm afraid I haven't, Henry. A long time ago, me and my explorer took to the seas on a voyage to find a long forgotten island, which is an ancient map to guide us. But our ship was swallowed whole by a giant scary whale. I was washed up on the Asir beach. I lost my map in a bottle and my ship was never seen again. doop de doo doop de doo Map to a long forgotten island coming through. Look, Compass, is that your map in a bottle? It sure is, Henry. This means you can finish your voyage. Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but I can't go on a voyage to a long forgotten island without an explorer and a ship. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Compass. I could become an explorer and we could go on a voyage to a long forgotten island together. That's a great idea, Henry lad. Okay, Compass. If we're going to find a long forgotten island, first we need to check the map. Well, as you can see, Captain Henry, we are here. We need to head east past the mermaid around the walrus between the turtles and then onto the long forgotten island here. East? Which way is that, Compass? It's that way! Okay then, Compass. Let's pull up the anchor and let out the sail. Long Forgotten Island, here we come! Hello, Mermaid. Hello, Henry. Hello, Walrus. Hello, Henry. Hello, Turtles. Hello, Henry. Ahoy there, Captain Henry. We've seen a mermaid, a walrus, a family of turtles. The long-forgotten island must be just up ahead. You're right, Compass. In fact, it's right here. Captain Henry, are you sure that's the long-forgotten island? It looks a little soft and blubbery to me. But if it's not the long-forgotten island, what could it be? Are you okay? I'm fine, Henry, but I can't see a thing. Where are we? Oh no, Compass. We're trapped inside the whale's mouth. And it looks like we're not the only ones. Ship, it's you. Compass, I never thought I'd see you again. I've been trapped inside this whale for so long, I'll be barnacles to turn to dust at that chew. That's it. We have to get the whale to sneeze us out. Ship, can I borrow some of that barnacle dust, please? Of course you can, Henry. Hold on, everyone. Uh, uh. <laughs> we did it, Henry. We found the long-forgotten island. We sure did, Compass. I now declare this the Henry and Friends Super Duper Amazing Island. Hooray! Arr! The day Henry met a compass. He laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a compass. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Compass. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find my ship on the long forgotten island. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry lad. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A cactus. <laughs> Hello, cactus.
Cactus. Buenos días. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Cactus? I feel muy bien. Very good, Henry. I just love living in the garden center surrounded by all my cactusy friends. Hello, everyone. Arriba! Um, cactus, is it true that cacti normally live in the desert? See, si, that's right, Henry. You must get awfully hot and thirsty sitting in the sun all day. Well, Henry, even though it doesn't rain very often in the desert, Cacti use our long roots and thick, juicy flesh to soak up the water like a sponge and store it for months, so we always have enough to drink. Right! And why do you have these little prickles? They're my spines, Henry. Not only do they stop animals giving me a little nibble, but they also cast hundreds of tiny shadows which help keep me cool. Watch your fingers. Right! Will do, Cactus. Will do. Hmm. And what's this here? Hello. That's my grandfather's deputy badge, Henry. He used to be deputy to a famous sheriff in the wild, wild west. I like to wear it and dream of following in his footsteps. Yeehaw! Well, I think you'd make a great deputy cactus. Why don't you give it a try? I'd love to, Henry. But you can't have a deputy without a sheriff. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, cactus. I could become a sheriff and you could be my deputy and we can go on an adventure in the wild, wild west. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, Deputy Cactus. A sheriff's job is to keep the town safe and happy and make sure no one causes any trouble. Sheriff Henry, Deputy Cactus, there's trouble at the old saloon. Sounds like a job for Sheriff Henry and Deputy Cactus. I saw it first. No, I saw it first. No, I saw it first. Hold up, glasses. What seems to be the problem? There was only one bottle of fizzy orange left and I saw it first. Did not do two. They seem very annoyed, Henry. What are we going to do? My mum always says, if there's enough for one, there's enough for two. Cheers! Can you help keep us safe, Sheriff Henry? I sure can. In here, everyone. Take Sheriff Henry! Henry. Water! Water! Here you go, horse. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Sheriff Henry. <laughs> oh, please help, Sheriff Henry. I don't know what to do. I've tried everything. Have you tried your rattle? Of course. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sheriff. You are doing a great job, Sheriff Henry. The whole town is safe and heavy thanks to you. All in a day's work, Deputy Cactus. Now, as long as a bandit doesn't ride into town and challenge me to a pie-throwing contest at noon, I think everything's going to be just fine. I'm a bandit, and I just rode into town. I challenged Sheriff Henry to a pie-throwing contest at noon. I accept. Good luck, Sheriff Henry. Draw. Cactus, are you all right? I'm... I'm okay, Sheriff Henry. In fact, I'm better than okay. This pie is delicious. Delicious? You really think so? In that case, maybe it's time for me to give up being a bandit and follow my dream of opening a pie shop. I know that the whole town is safe. And seeing as you were so brave, Cactus, I'm promoting you to Sheriff. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much, Henry. Yay! The day Henry met a cactus, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a cactus, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me cactus. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me go to the wild, wild west and become sheriff. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Adios. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met. An elephant. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello, Henry. How are you today, Elephant? I feel wonderful, Henry. It's another lovely sunny day in the safari park. Oh, and you're in luck. We're just about to go to the family photo album. Oh, Dad, we did that yesterday. And the day before. Listen to your father now, children. You know how he loves his family photo album. This is us in New York. This is my auntie in Lanzarote. Oh, and this is my great-grandfather in Timbuktu. And who's this hairy-looking elephant over here? Oh, <laughs> that, that's not a hairy elephant, Henry. That, that's a cave painting of my great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandmother. She was a woolly mammoth and lived during the Ice Age. The Ice Age? What's that, elephant? The Ice Age was a period in Earth's history when the climate was much, much colder. So cold, in fact, that many of the continents were covered in polar ice. These were huge ice sheets that spread out from the North and South Poles. Wow, that's amazing, elephant. It must have been pretty chilly. Oh, it sure was, Henry. That's why woolly mammoths were so woolly. Oh, I'd so love to meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Why can't you, elephant? Oh, Henry, the Ice Age ended over 10,000 years ago. I'd have to travel back in time to do that. That gives me a great idea, Elephant. I could become a prehistoric caveman, and we could travel back to the Ice Age and meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth together. Oh, that's a great idea, Henry. Hello, Cave. Hello, Henry. How can I help you today? We're looking for Grandma Woolly Mammoth. She, she wears gr green glasses, a lovely purple hat, and pink fluffy slippers. I've seen a glyptodon in mittens, a saber-toothed tiger wearing a bobble hat, and a parasitherium with a frilly scarf, but I haven't seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth, I'm afraid. But I'm sure if you pop outside the cave, you'll find her in no time. Will do, cave paintings. Will do. Oh, no, Henry. This place is so big. It's going to take us all day to find Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Well, better get started then. Let's go! Hello, Glyptodon. Have you seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth around here today? She's wearing green glasses. I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. I've been too busy sledging. Excuse me, Saber Tooth Tiger. Uh, have you seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth? She's wearing a purple hat. I haven't, I'm afraid, Elephant. I've been too busy practicing my ice sculpting. Ta da! Oh. Hello, Parasitherium. I don't suppose you've seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth. She has pink fluffy slippers. I'm afraid not, Henry. I've been too busy building a snowman. There, all done. Oh dear, Henry. We've looked everywhere and we still haven't found Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Don't give up yet, Elephant. If we keep on looking, we're bound to find her. All I can see is ice, snow, woolly mammoth tracks, snow. Did you just say woolly mammoth tracks? Oh, <laughs> so I did, Henry. Come on, elephant. Let's go. Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Uh, um, you, you don't know me, but you're my very, very distant relative. Oh, how delightful. It's lovely to meet you. Oh, we're going to have so much to talk about. Grandma Woolly Mammoth, where are you going? Oh, no. The ice is broken off and I'm drifting away. Grandma Woolly Mammoth is floating out into the open waters. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Elephant. I think I have an idea. Ready, steady, go! Oh, we did it, Henry. We travelled back to the Ice Age, found Grandma Woolly Mammoth and saved her from drifting off in the ice. Now there's only one thing left to do. Say cheese, everyone. Cheese! Today, Henry met an elephant. He laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met an elephant. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me elephant. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me finally meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, bye bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... a lollipop. <laughs> Hello, lollipop. Hello, Henry, dear. How 
are you today, Lollipop? Oh, I feel wonderful, Henry, because every day I get to help the crossing guard. What do you and crossing guard do? We help all the lovely children and their families safely across the road before and after school. That sounds like a very important job, Lollipop. But, hmm, why are you called a lollipop exactly? I'm called a lollipop, Henry, because I look like a giant lollipop. Oh, yes, of course. So, Henry, are you looking forward to school today? I sure am, lollipop. I have my books, <laughs> my pencil case, <laughs> my packed lunch. <laughs> All I need to do now is safely cross the road. I'll be with you in just one moment, Henry. I'm just waiting for the crossing guard to arrive. I'm sure they'll be here any minute. Lollipop, Lollipop, you're never going to believe what's happened. The crossing guard has gotten stuck in traffic and won't be able to make it in time for the school run. Oh, no. That means I won't be able to help anyone across the road, Henry. That is a pity, Lollipop. Did someone just say there's no one to help us cross the road? Well, we can't cross on our own. And we have an important spelling test today. Oh, dear, Henry. Look at everybody waiting patiently to cross the road. It would be such a shame if they were all late for school. If only there was another crossing guard around to help. That gives me a great idea, Lollipop. I could become a crossing guard and make it up everyone across the road safely in time for school. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Lollipop. If we're going to help the children across the road, first we need to stop the traffic. Wait, Henry. It's not safe to cross yet. Even a crossing guard has to follow road safety rules. Isn't that right, girls? When you go to cross the road, you better stop, stop my dear. Look both ways and use your eyes and ears. ears. Let the traffic pass until the road is clear. Now it's safe to cross the road. Have a nice day, my dear. Day, my dear. Thanks, Count. Ready, Henry? Ready, Lollipop. Let's go! Hello, school bags. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. <laughs> Hello, pencil cases. Hello, Hello Henry. <laughs> Hello, lunch boxes. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. <laughs> You're doing a wonderful job, Henry. All the children are safely across the road. Thanks, Henry. You're welcome, everyone. OK, Lollipop, I guess we're all done. Don't forget about me, Henry. It's my first day. Can you help me across the road, please? Hello, tiny school bag. I didn't see you there. Of course we can. It would be our pleasure. There you go, tiny school bag. The road is clear and it's safe to cross. Now off you pop to school, little one. You don't want to be late. Mm. Henry, I, I, I've I never crossed the road without my mum and dad before, and I'm a little nervous. Oh, the poor little mite. What are we going to do, Henry? Don't worry, Lollipop. You wait here and make sure the crossing is safe. I think I have an idea. Don't be scared, tiny school bag. Whenever I need to cross the road, my mum always holds my hand. Ready, tiny school bag? Ready, Henry. Time for school, everyone! Run along now, little one. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Lollipop. You're the best crossing team ever. Yay! The day Henry met a Lollipop, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a Lollipop, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me Lollipop. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry dear. And thanks for helping all the children across the road safely in time for school. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. I'm our laser team. <laughs> <laughs> Arcade Machine. Good day, Henry. How are you today, Arcade Machine? I feel great, Henry. My screen is polished, my buttons are buffed, and my circuit boards are ready for duty. Hello, Henry. 
We're the circuit boards. Hello, circuit boards. We give arcade machine power and contain all the information needed to make his game work. Wow, that's so interesting. So what type of game is that arcade machine? Is it a puzzle game? Is it a racing game? Is it a jumping, looping and swooping game? It's an adventure game, Henry. A brave space cadet has to fly his spaceship and rescue the super space monkey who's crash landed on Planet X, a mysterious planet guarded by a giant scary alien. That sounds like a lot of fun, Arcade Machine. You must have lots of people queuing to play. I'm afraid not, Henry. I've been moved into this dark corner ever since that fancy new simulator arrived. Once at a time, please. No pushing. Wow! That was amazing! I'm never gonna find a new recruit to complete my game at this rate. If only there was another space cadet around. That gives me a great idea, Arcade Machine. I could become a space cadet, and I could fly to Planet X and save the Super Space Monkey. That's a great idea, Space Cadet Henry. Let's get ready for the mission. Whee! Power up the boosters. Next stop, Planet X. Hello, alien invaders. Hello, Henry. Hello, asteroids. Hello, Henry. Hello, warp zone. Hello, Henry. Excellent job, Space Cadet Henry. You've gone further than anyone has gone before. You made it to Planet X. Remember, the mission won't be complete until you've rescued the Super Space Monkey. Okay, Arcade Machine. Now, where is Super Space Monkey? Psst, over here, Henry. Oh, hello, Super Space Monkey. I'm here to rescue you. Thanks very much, Henry. You're welcome, Super Space Monkey. But, hmm, why are we whispering? Because we don't want to wake up the... Ah! Giant scary alien! Quick, run, Space Cadet Henry! <laughs> Keep going, Space Cadet Henry! The giant scary alien is right behind you! <laughs> yeah! Buckle your seatbelt, Super Space Monkey! We're getting out of here! <laughs> oh, why are you crying, Super Space Monkey? It's not me, Henry. But if it's not you, who is it? <laughs> What's the matter, giant scary alien? Are you okay? I'm fine, Henry. It's just I've waited ages for someone to make it to Planet X, and the first thing they do is scream and run away. I'm sorry, giant scary alien. We thought you were going to eat us. Eat you? Oh, no. I was just going to ask if you fancied a quick game of space pong. We'd love to, giant scary alien. You did it, Henry! You've unlocked the special bonus ending! Instead of rescuing Super Space Monkey, you helped him and Giant Scary Alien become best of friends! Hooray! my mum calling me Arcade Machine. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for being the first space cadet to complete my game. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, bye bye, Henry. Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. I made you. <laughs> Ballet Shoes. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Ballet Shoes? We're very excited, aren't we, Ballet Shoe? We certainly are. It's the day of the big dance show, and the best dancers from all over the world are going to be there. There's going to be tap dancing. Hello, Henry, man. Disco dancing. <laughs> hello, Henry. And ballroom dancing. Buongiorno. Hello, Henry. Fantastic. Ten out of ten. 
Hello, everyone. That sounds like a lot of fun. That's not even the best part, Henry. The finale of the show is ballet. And we're the stars. That's amazing ballet shoes. I'm sure you have lots of practicing to do. You're right, Henry. In fact, we're supposed to be rehearsing our latest routine right now. We're just waiting for our dance partner. Ballet shoes, ballet shoes. I have some terrible news. Your dance partner got his shoelaces tied together, fell, hurt his knee, and can't make it to the big dance show today. Oh no, Henry. What are we going to do? We can't perform our routine without a partner. If only there was another ballet dancer around to help. That gives me a great idea, ballet shoes. I could become a ballet dancer and we could perform in the big dance show finale together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, ballet shoes, first things first. You need to teach me the routine. Good thinking, Henry. OK, first up, we have a plie to point. Like this. That's it, Henry. Next up, we have a grand jeté. And last but not least, we're going to do a super duper pirouette. Okay, ballet shoes, here goes. Wee! Whoa! That was more difficult than I thought. Don't worry, Henry. We just have to keep practicing. We'll do, ballet shoes. We'll do. Whoa! Don't give up, Henry. <laughs> Thanks, Tutu. Wee! Whoa! You can, can do, do it, Henry! Henry. Thanks, stage light. I think I've got it. Whoa. You're almost there, Henry. <sighs> Thanks, sound system. The barroom shoes have nearly finished their routine, Henry. And we're up next. Hooray! Bravo. What am I going to do, ballet shoes? I still can't do the super duper pirouette. You'll just have to go out there and try your best. That's all that matters, and we'll be right there with you. OK, ballet shoes, I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> Time for the super duper pirouette, Henry. Ready? Ready, ballet shoes. Let's go! your help. Let's take a bow. Hooray! Today Henry met ballet shoes. He laughed along with everyone. Today Henry met ballet shoes. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me ballet shoes. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all ours, Henry. And thanks for helping us perform in the big dance show finale. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. At <laughs> Hello, Sink. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Sink? Can't complain, Henry. Can't complain. It's another busy day in the bathroom, and there's nothing we all like better than helping everyone get all soapy, fresh and squeaky clean. Ain't that right, fellas? Sure is, boss. boss. That's good news, Sink, because I've come to wash my hands before dinner. Say no more, Henry. Say no more. Let me just run you some lovely warm water. We'll have your hands clean in no time. Thanks, Sink. Mmm, Sink? Where does all the water go after it goes down the plug hole? Great question, Henry. The water goes down the plug hole. Round the trap. Down the waste pipe. And then down the drain. Where it's collected in the main sewer system. 
before it travels to the treatment plant where it's cleaned, ready to be used again. Wow, that's so interesting, Sink. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Henry. Looks like we've sprung a few leaks. What happened, pressure valve? Sorry, everyone. I must have nodded off and left the pressure on too high. Look at this mess, Henry. We need someone to fix the water pipes. Oh, if only there was a plumber around. That gives me a great idea, Sink. I could become a plumber and I could fix all the leaks in the bathroom. That's a great idea, Henry. Hmm, well, actually, I'm on another job at the moment and it's going to take at least three weeks to order the parts in. Oh, really? Only joking, Sink. I'll get on it right away. First things first, we need to turn off the main water supply. Good thinking, Henry. Excuse me, Stopcock. We have a bit of an emergency upstairs. There's a few leaks in the bathroom and we need to turn off the water. Quick! Well, you've come to the right place, Henry. If you turn my handle, it'll switch off the water for the whole house. Thanks, Stopcock. You're welcome, Henry. You're doing a great job, Henry. But we still have all these burst pipes to fix. OK, Sink. Let's get plumbing. There you go, bathtub. Thanks, Henry. Whoopee. That should do it, pipes. Thanks, Thanks Henry. Henry. There. Good as new, shower. Thanks, Henry. Good work, Henry. You make an excellent plumber. All you need to do now is fix my leaky tap. Will do, Sink. Will do. I'll just tighten the screw and we'll be all done. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Oh, no, Henry. The screw has fallen down the plug hole. If it ends up in the drain, we'll never get it back. Leave it to me, Sink. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Henry. Well done, Henry. You did an amazing job. The bathroom is back up and running better than ever. Thanks so much. Hooray! You're welcome, Sink. It's all in a day's work for Henry the Plumber. The day Henry met a sink, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a sink, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me sink. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping fix all the burst pipes. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A trophy! <laughs> Hello, trophy. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Trophy? I feel great, Henry. Every day I'm surrounded by all these beautiful, gleaming gold trophies. There's always someone to talk to. Over here is Dart's Trophy. Hello, Henry. 108, say. Here's Karate Trophy. Hiya, Henry. And last but not least, we have Go-Karting Trophy. Hello, Henry. Vroom, vroom. Hello, everyone. And what sort of trophy are you? I'm a gymnastics trophy, Henry. Oh, I love gymnastics. But, hmm, how come you aren't in the trophy cabinet with all your friends? Trophies only go in there once they've been won in a competition, Henry. They get engraved with the winner's name and are kept safe in the cabinet until they are collected. Does that mean you've never been in a competition? That's right, Henry. But today's the day of the best gymnast in the universe competition. So as long as nothing goes wrong, I'll be engraved and sitting in the cabinet by the end of the day. Breaking news. The bus carrying all the gymnasts for today's best gymnast in the universe competition 
has broken down, and they won't make it in time to compete. Oh no, Henry. If there's no one around to compete, I'll never end up in that trophy cabinet. Oh, if only there was another gymnast around to help. That gives me a great idea, Trophy. I could become a gymnast, and I could take part in the best gymnast in the universe competition. That's a great idea, Henry. But don't think it's going to be easy just because there are no other gymnasts. If you want to win, you still have to complete all the different events. OK, Trophy. But before I start, I better do some warm-ups. Good thinking, Henry. You don't want to pull a muscle. First, I'll run on the spot. <gasps> Next, I'll do some star jumps. Here, whoop, hua. And last but not least, I'll stretch all the way down and touch my toes. There, all done. Attention all gymnasts. The best gymnasts in the universe competition is about to begin. Take your places, please. This is it, Henry. There's no turning back now. Are you ready? I sure am, Trophy. Here I go. Hello, Balance Beam. Hello, Henry. Hello, Still Rings. Hello, Henry. Hello, Pommel Horse. Hello, Henry. Yeah. You're doing a great job, Henry. You're the best gymnast I've ever seen. Now, there's just one event left. The Vault. The Vault? What's that trophy? I'll talk you through it, Henry. First, you run down the red mat as fast as you can. Then you bounce off the springboard, flip over the vaulting horse. Then you land with your feet together here on the mat. Oh dear, that sounds a little tricky, Trophy. Perhaps I should sit this one out. Just because something is difficult, Henry, it doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a go. Besides, if you don't complete all the events, no one will win. And if no one wins, I'll never get in that trophy cabinet. Don't worry, Trophy. Leave it to me. Good, Good luck, Henry. Henry. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Steady, Henry. Whoa. Henry, you completed all the events and won the best gymnast in the universe competition. I couldn't have done it without your help, Trophy. Now, you better get you polished and engraved. Ready for the trophy cabinet. my mum calling me trophy. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me make it into the trophy cabinet. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A hot air balloon. <laughs> Hello, Hot Air Balloon. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Hot Air Balloon? I feel positively spiffing, Henry, old chap. It's the day of the big country fair and I've been giving free balloon rides to all the visitors because it's such a beautiful day. That's very nice of you, Hot Air Balloon. But, hmm, how do you float up in the air like that? Jolly good question, Henry, dear boy. Take a gander at my burners. They heat up the air trapped inside my balloon. This makes it lighter than the cold air outside, which sends me up, up, up into the air. Tally ho! Wow, that's so interesting, hot air balloon. You must have seen some amazing things on your travels. Oh, I'm sorry to say I haven't, Henry. I've been so busy travelling from country fair to country fair, taking passengers up and down, up and down, I never actually get to see very much. That is a pity, Hot Air Balloon. I know, Henry, but one day, just once, I'd love to compete in the round-the-world balloon race. If only I had the chance. <gasps> extra, extra, calling all balloons. Round-the-world balloon race starting soon at the country fair. <sighs> Hot Air Balloon, this is your chance. You're right, Henry. How exciting. 
Oh, but my balloonist has gone off to play ring toss at the fair and won't be back in time for the race. If only there was another one around. That gives me a great idea, Hot Air Balloon. I could become a balloonist and we could take part in the round the world race. That's a great idea, Henry, dear boy. Balloonists, to your baskets, please. The race is about to begin. Quick, Henry, untie the rope and hop in. We'll do, Hot Air Balloon. We'll do. Three, two, one, go! Wow! Look at all these balloons. And look at that view. It's amazing. It sure is, Henry. And there's plenty more spectacular sights to come. Then there's no time to waste, Hot Air Balloon. Let's go! Hello, Eiffel Tower. Hello, Henry. Hello, Pyramids. Hello, Henry. Hello, Taj Mahal. Hello, Henry. Hello, Great Wall of China. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Hello, Statue of Liberty. Hello, Henry. OK, Hot Air Balloon. We've been all around the world and back. But I can't see the finish line. In a hot air balloon race, there isn't a finish line, Henry. Instead, the first person to drop their weighted marker yep. on the centre of the target... Over here, Henry! ...wins the race. OK, hot air balloon. That should be easy peasy. The weather is fine and there isn't another balloon in sight. Here goes! <sighs> Whoa! Careful, Henry. The wind is picking up and the other competitors are right behind us. OK, Hot Air Balloon. I'll give it my best shot. Steady, steady. Left a bit. Quick, Henry. They're almost on us. Hold it. Ready, weighted marker. Ready, Henry. Weighted markers away. <gasps> Incoming. Great shot, Henry! Well done, Henry! We did it! We flew around the world, hit the target and won the race! On day's work for Henry the Hot Air Balloonist! Hooray! That's my mum calling me hot air balloon. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me win the Around the World race. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A box of chocolates. Box of chocolates. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Box of Chocolates? Oh, I'm wonderful. Thanks, Henry. I just love being here, surrounded by all these delicious, colourful sweet treats. We have sherbet lemons, <laughs> jelly snakes, <laughs> and chocolatey swirls. <laughs> Hello, Henry. Hello, sweeties. Oh, chocolatey swirls are my favourite. They are? Well, in that case, have a taster. <laughs> Thanks, Box of Chocolates. I'll save this for a special treat after my dinner. Now then, Henry, what brings you to the suit shop today? I'm looking for something nice for my mum because it's Mother's Day. Oh, yes, of course. So it is. The chocolates have been flying off the shelves. In fact, you're in luck because I am the last box. That's great news. I have so many yummy, licious flavours, Henry. I have orange crunch, caramel swirl, mint surprise. Hmm, box of chocolates? There doesn't seem to be any chocolates in here. What? Really? Oh, they must have been so delicious that someone has eaten them all already. Can you make some more? Oh, Henry, I would need a chocolatier to do that. 
If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Box of Chocolates. I could become a chocolatier and we can make some chocolates together. That's a great idea, Henry. Now, wash your hands, then you'll be ready to start. Will do, Box of Chocolates. Will do. Thanks, Tap. Oh, you're welcome, Henry. OK, Box of Chocolates, if we're going to make some chocolate, first we need some cocoa beans. Hello, Henry. I'm a sack of cocoa beans, freshly picked from the hills of Venezuela and ready for roasting. Hello, sack of cocoa beans. Straight into the roaster, please. Here you go, Henry. I'm just roasting the beans, Henry. To remove any impurities and improve the flavour, next the beans need to be blended together. And we end up with a lovely smooth chocolatey paste. Oh, that looks delicious, Henry. Thanks, box of chocolates. But there's still lots more work left to do. Let's go! Hello, sugar, butter, vanilla and milk. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, mixing machine. Hello, Henry. Hello, chocolate pump. Hello, Henry. Look at the time, Henry. The chocolates should be set by now. OK, everyone. Out of your moulds and into the box, please. Oh, how exciting. <gasps> this is my favourite part. Hmm, Henry, it looks like we're one chocolate short. What are we going to do? Not to worry, box of chocolates. One more chocolate coming right up. Uh-oh, Henry. That's not good. I think I'm going to pop. Chocolate tidal wave. Bye-bye, mixing machine. Bye-bye, ingredients. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bean roaster. Oh, dear, Henry. Look at this mess. And I'm still missing one chocolate. What are we going to do? Hmm. Wait a minute, box of chocolates. I think I have an idea. Of course. Your chocolatey swirl. Great idea, Henry. But you were so looking forward to eating it. I sure was, box of chocolates. But I'm sure my mum will love it even more. Yay! Calling me box of chocolates. We best be off. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope your mum enjoys our chocolates. I'm sure she will. I'm coming, Mum. 